Hi there, my name is Stacy Jensen from Color Veil, and today I'm going to show you how I do a simple edit in Lightroom within just two minutes. We're using a technique that I show in tutorials uh, using RAW, but you can achieve this quickly in Lightroom as well. So here is the before and the after. As you can see, the image is pretty flat. It doesn't have the depth. Um, also, the leaves above are a bit distracting. What I did is reduced the exposure and then lightened up my subject to create more dimension within the photo. So again, you have the flat and um, the more forward-facing subject and providing light within side of the trees. So the way that I'm going to start that is by using the original. And we're going to change the view here really quick so that we're on one. The first step that I do in Lightroom to create this is by reducing the exposure. And again, I do this in RAW a lot too, so if I, any Photoshop users, you can do the same type of idea. So I reduce the exposure. I always like to bump down about um, 1.2 with my shooting range, but again, you may shoot differently. So just reduce that so everything is pretty dark. Um, this is almost reverse type editing. Then what I do is get the brush that you have in Lightroom, and we're going to bump up the exposure probably about double what you had um, decreased the whole photo exposure for. So we're going to go with an exposure of 2.32. When you're using brushes, there's size, feathering, and flow. These, I just kind of use in a smaller feather mode, 30 to 50 range. That allows the soft spread of the brush. And then the flow and the density are really going to be uh, like an opacity for Photoshop users. So now what I want to do is come in with a little larger of a brush for my first click, I click on the face. Remember, we have it low, the flow and the density, so it is not gonna be a full strength at this time. Now I can start clicking around to bring in the light all over the subject anywhere that I might want it. So we're just going to do this. And again, if you had changed the flow rate, you would get something a little bit stronger but I prefer to kind of work slowly, come in with a smaller brush, until I achieve the strength that I want. I do have my contrast bumped up a little bit. This is great also, so you may want to copy some of these settings that I have. What I want to do is create an umbrella-like feature under the tree so that it appears that there's light just underneath her. So we're going to just lighten a few things up at the bottom of the leaves. Come in with a little bit bigger of a brush. Click once, click once. So clicking seems to work better for this technique because you're not applying too much strength to the image the first click. Okay, so if you wanted to erase something on here that you did, all you need to do is hold down your Option key on your keyboard and click a couple times. We're gonna go with a little larger of a brush when we're doing the erasing. So I'm just using the bracket key on my keyboard, holding down the Option. If that's too much, we can just go back to our original brush, which is not holding down the option. You'll see there's a plus or a minus. The plus means it's adding it, the minus means it's erasing it. So once we're done with that, we can walk over to the photo itself and the basic adjustments and maybe add in a little bit of red tint so that we can take some of the green out of her skin. We won't need very much. You can also tint your brush. We've painted on her skin, so this is where you could just click on the temperature and go up in the yellows 
add a little bit of um, more warmth to her skin. So again, these temperature and tints are available in the brush. Since you were painting on the skin, this is where you could do a good job getting the correct skin color. Or you can just do an overall photo temperature control as well. So for this before and after, we're going to go and take a peek. So you have the before and the after. Much difference. do a large before and after. This allows you to really showcase your subject. So this is the before, very flat, and the after. You could even come in and I maybe would open up the light just a little bit on the top of her head. And you're all set. So hopefully this helped you. Thank you so much for watching.